let me tell you about the protease. Protease is also a very uh, interesting enzyme. And uh, you know, every year, uh, this is the second most important uh, that is the enzyme. This is the second most important enzyme after MLS. You know why? Because this protease enzyme, this is highly produced. 500 ton of this enzyme actually produced every year. Okay, can you imagine? So, this enzyme uh, actually catalyzes of the proteolysis means breaking of protein into smaller lipids. In our previous cases, uh, in our previous, for example, lipase, what you have seen? Lipase actually breaking the fat. Lipase actually breaking the fat. In our previous MLS, MLS, in the MLS enzyme, MLS is actually breaking the MLS is breaking the carbohydrate, that is starch. MLS this is breaking starch. Then your uh, this enzyme called uh, lipase is actually breaking the fat. Lipase is actually breaking the fat. And our this enzyme called protease. This is actually breaking the proteins. So carbohydrate, uh, fat, and protein. They hope three you know, main component here, our uh, body key. All the things are actually coming. All the uh, basic biomolecules. This is actually called biomolecules. Let me write properly. P R O T I N. Okay. This is by the MLS. This is uh, by the uh, can I just say lipase. And the uh, paracetamol is done by protease. Okay. So you should remember in this manner. So uh, uh, in this process. So they do this by cleaving the peptide board in the protein by hydrolysis process. The process is called hydrolysis. A reaction where uh, water breaks bond. Could be molecule here. Could be molecule here, man. Look, for example, like a molecule here. If water is actually breaking the molecule into smaller pieces, then you should call it as a hydrolysis. Okay. So hydrolysis is happening uh, here by using what protease. This is the picture of the uh, protease enzyme. Now, how you will produce this particular uh, protease enzyme in industry? First, you have to uh, isolate. First, you have to isolate the proteolytic microbes. Okay, so how you will be isolate the proteolytic microbes? So uh, this proteolytic microbes can be isolated from the observing the hydrolysis of casein agar. Hydrolysis of the casein agar. If you have a casein agar, if it is actually getting hydrolysis, so you have to understand that yes, there are some proteolytic and microbes are still present. So after isolating the suitable stain, it is necessary to increase the enzyme production by optimizing the process like uh, media, composition, pH, volume, moisture, whatever the various factors. slides So whatever the basic uh, media or whatever the basic uh, factors, you have to ensure that. And among the various uh, proteases, the bacterial proteases are the most significant. Okay, see, you can get the protease not only from bacteria, you can get from other species also. But if whatever the bacteria from bacteria, if you are getting the proteases, this is the most significant. Okay, now what are the bacteria? Like Bacillus subtilis. Bacillus subtilis. This is the uh, most uh, common bacteria. So this is actually used in the producing of the particular enzyme. And for industrial uh, production, you can uh, take the gene for the formulation of the several proteases. You can also clone. I will tell you today what is cloning, what is genetic engineering. You can do the protein engineering. Okay, you can modify the particular uh, that is a bacillus, uh, subtilia, and peptide, peptides. The particular uh, bacteria you can modify its gene so that it will produce more and more amino acids, and all the amino acids will join together, and they will make. What they will make? They will make they make a uh, protein, means enzyme. So protein jo hai, enzyme jo hai, wo ki protein hi hoti. And protein jo hai, all the proteins are made by peptide. I hope you know I am just writing here. Uh, enzymes, enzyme jo hai, wo ki protein hai. All the enzymes are protein. Hamesh yaad rakhna. And proteins are actually made by various peptide. Okay, chote 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 jo tumhari peptide hai. Uh, achha, and peptides are actually made by amino acid. Okay, so amino acids will be made peptide, and a lots of peptide will be joined together as a protein. So uh, you can 
increase the uh, that is a uh, enzyme production by modifying the uh, bacteria called bacillus subtilia peptidase if you make some genetic change within the bacteria it will produce more and more enzyme so this is the first step and yes including you have to uh, give the corresponding changes whatever the things are like ph stability and other thing so the first step is actually uh, isolation of the particular that microbes you have to isolate that particular uh, microbes and second you to develop the media you have to give the media you have to give some nitrogen source you have to uh, so that they can eat the microbial microbe can eat those those nitrogen source and they can uh, do the fermentation of the certain uh, protein okay so uh, soybean oil milk casein gelatin carbohydrate this kind of thing you can give in the fermentation and when fermentation will start in that case uh, the natural fermentation that is solid or submerged uh, fermentation any of the any of the uh, process you can select either solid or either submerged so this is will be uh, whatever the thing will be select this will influence the growth of uh, moss as well as the enzyme production generally uh, ssf solid state fermenter this is the most uh, used used process uh, but this is the most actually um, advanced process but in maximum people are actually using submerged because in submerged process na sadi usse chalta aa raha hai it's a old process solid state fermentation is a new process so for the production of the um, alkaline protease the bacillus uh, subtilia peptidase are actually cultured and stored and lyophilized uh, state for under liquid nitrogen for the sterility initial growth will be carried out at the second second plus at small fermenter particular at the, this temperature uh, at this particular um, the, the uh, area so in this process feed based process then in some some of the cases you can go with the uh, continuous process also and aeration will be there and later on you have to purify after completing of the fermentation process you have to purify that substance so different methods are used for the purification like ultra filtration you can use or you can use the other chromatography technique okay so what next so today uh, after discussing as i said clear to you all students protease bahut acche se samajh mein aa gaya sabko any doubts or any questions nishita koi sawal hai rishab pinky no sir okay samajh mein aaya acche se yes sir okay great Well, actually, you know, uh, every day actually, Nishita, Risha, Pinky, and other Prerna, uh, other people, those are only few students are actually uh, give give response. So that's why I I, I call uh, them uh, very frequently. And the rest of you don't think that the other students are not uh, important for me. All of you are very important for me, and I wish that all of you may successful in your life. So all of you may try to engage. है ना अनम्यूट करके तुम लोग जो है थोड़ा रेस्पॉन्स किया करो मुझे अच्छा लगता है बिकॉज आई ऑलवेज फील हैप्पी व्हेन माय स्टूडेंट्स एक्चुअली लर्निंग तो ऑलवेज ट्राई टू रेस्पॉन्स और कुछ ही समझ में ना आए तो वेरी इजीली मैं जस्ट टेल सर प्लीज एक बार दोबारा बताए आई कैन एक्सप्लेन द वन थिंग फॉर टेन टाइम्स फॉर यू बिकॉज आई वॉन्ट दैट यू मे लर्न द थिंग इन ए वेरी डेप्थ इन ए वेरी करेक्ट मैनर ठीक है चलो नाउ आई हैव ए वेरी इंटरेस्ट the last enzyme i think in this particular uh, that is our uh, sub topic acha how many of you are aware about penicillin kitne log penicillin ke bare mein jante ho kabhi na kabhi naam to sune honge na anybody please raise your hands those of you are uh, aware or those of you have heard about the penicillin agar tum log mujhe bata sakte ho ki kaun se disease mein use hote to mujhe aur bhi khushi hongi okay pragya shikha uh, they are actually aware risha was also aware अच्छा जो तुम्हारी स्क्रीन में आ रहा है वन साइंटिस्ट इनके नाम जानते हो एनी बडी आई थिंक मेनी ऑफ यू माइट हैव सीन अलेक्जेंडर फ्लेमिंग हां वेरी गुड वेरी गुड अलेक्जेंडर फ्लेमिंग तो उन्होंने क्या किया था बताओगे मुझे डिस्कवरी ऑफ पेनिसिलिन हां वेरी गुड वेरी गुड शाबाश सो डू यू नो हाउ वी एक्चुअली डिस्कवर्ड यू कैन आल्सो डिस्कवर अ न्यू ड्रग इन योर फ्यूचर जानते हो आज के टाइम में इफ यू वांट टू बिकम रिच इफ यू वांट टू बिकम रिच जस्ट डिस्कवर अ न्यू ड्रग मॉलिक्यूल दुनिया में नए डिजीजेस आ रहे हैं बहुत सारी नई नई बीमारी जो है दुनिया में आ रहे हैं 
So we need new drug molecule. If you discover new drug molecule, if you may just file the patent and the top pharmaceutical company, they will give you royalty. घर बैठ के जो है तुम्हें हर महीने में दो लाख तीन लाख जितने भी है वट एवर दैट इज रॉयल्टी एग्रीमेंट विल बी विल बी अर्निंग सो यू नो अलेक्जेंडर फ्लेमिंग यू राइटली टोल्ड पिंकी दैट ही डिस्कवर द पेनिसिलिन यू विल बी सो मच एम्यूज टू नो ही डिस्कवर पेनिसिलिन एक्सीडेंटली इन्होंने एक्सीडेंटली डिस्कवर कोई ऐसे जान पहचान में या फिर ही वॉज नॉट इन्वॉल्व सीरियस वर्क आज ए वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग वीडियो but before that let me tell you uh, something about the penicillin you can see this is the uh, structure of the penicillin when he was working at that time there was no crystallography there was no certain structure certain structure so he did he did a lots of work and uh, uh, accidentally he discovered the penicillin he found that penicillin has some effect and when it was discovered the after that it was become so popular and it is the first antibiotic penicillin jo hai wo first antibiotic hai now you might be wondering ki sir aap baat kar rahe ho penicillin ki but hamare enzyme jo hai wo to hai penicillinase hai na dekho as penicillin iske baad as likha hua hai to sir wo kya hai so the answer is penicillin is a particular drug aur penicillin ko jo cheez khatam kare wo hai penicillinase एक एंजाइम है वन एंजाइम दैट एंजाइम एक्चुअली स्टॉपिंग द एक्टिविटी ऑफ पेनिसिलिन बैक्टीरिया प्रोड्यूस करते हैं वो एंजाइम ताकि पेनिसिलिन uh, जो ड्रग है वो बैक्टीरिया को एलिमिनेट ना कर पाए सो so, हमारे जो यूनिट फाइव है इन दैट यूनिट फाइव वी हैव ए डिटेल डिस्कशन ऑफ पेनिसिलिन बट मेरा कोशिश ये रहता है कि तुम लोगों को जो है मेन uh, इन्फॉर्मेशन जो है आई 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 मे टीच यू एवरीथिंग इन ए वेरी करेक्ट मैनर तो यूनिट फाइव में मैं अलग से एक बार डिस्कस करूंगा पर इसमें मैं डिटेल में थोड़ा बता देता हूँ तुम्हारा सिलेबस जो कम्प्लीट हो जाएगा वेन यू विल बी ओपन यूर यूनिट फाइव तुम्हें लगेगा कि अच्छा ये तो सारा ऑलरेडी मैं यूनिट वन में पढ़ चुका हूँ सो लेट मी फर्स्ट टेल यू अबाउट द बिगिनिंग ऑफ द पेनिसिलिन जो पेनिसिलिन ड्रग है वो कैसे डिस्कवर हुआ आई हैवेरी इंटरेस्टिंग वीडियो लेट मी जस्ट प्ले इट लंडन ऑडियो आ रहा है Yes, sir. Okay, okay. So, surf a London, 1928. A group of mold spores surf a breeze through a lab. They drift onto a petri dish, and when they land, they germinate a medical revolution. This lab. Acha, in this video, तुम लोगों को बहुत ही अच्छे से समझ में आ जाएगा कि how this man actually uh, discovered penicillin. It was it was basically accidentally. Accidentally, जो इन्होंने ये चीज़ आईडीफेक किया. Lab Deco. belongs to Alexander Fleming. Because on this particular a, uh, a medical uh, revolution. This lab belongs to Alexander Fleming, a Scottish scientist investigating the properties of infectious bacteria. At this time, Fleming is away on vacation. When he returns, he finds a colony of mold growing on a petri dish he'd forgotten to place in his incubator. And around Samjhe, wo chale gaye the vacation mein. Chutti pe तुम लोग जैसे छुट्टी में जाते हो ना विंटर वेकेशन समर वेकेशन इस साल तो पता नहीं समर वेकेशन मिलेगा भी या नहीं आ, ऐसे से वो छुट्टी में चले गए थे तो उनका जो लैब है उस लैब में उनके पास जो है ही हैड सम पेनिसिलिन दैट इज ही हैड सम फंगस बेसिकली एंड ही हैड सम बैक्टीरिया सो वेन यू हैिटर्न फ्रॉम हिस्स होम फ्रॉम हिस्स वैकेशन ही हैज ऑब्जर्व दैट दी फंगस इट इज एक्चुअली नॉट अलाउिंग द बैक्टीरिया टू ग्रो फंगस जो है वो बैक्टीरिया को ग्रो होने में रोक रहे हैं। वर्क अभी देखो मैं फर्दर वीडियो को देखाऊंगा is a zone completely and unexpectedly clear of bacteria in studying this mysterious phenomenon fleming came to realize that the mold was secreting some kind of compound that was killing the bacteria samjhe the mold is secreting some kind of compound which is actually killing the bacteria so jo mold hai that uh, particular uh, uh, the fungus mold it is actually uh, living fungus jo hai wo living material hai na wo so it will saving itself from the bacteria by releasing that and that uh, uh, substance or that compound called penicillin later on it the name was given 
The mold was a species in the penicillium genus, so Fleming dubbed the antibacterial compound penicillin. What Fleming stumbled upon was a microbial defense system. The penicillium mold constantly produces penicillin in order to defend it. You can see, uh, it is actually releasing the penicillin that uh, uh, penic mold, hai na? fungus mold, penicillium. So it is actually uh, releasing the penicillin. These are the bacteria. Itself from threats, Just such as nearby us. bacterial colonies hey, that might bacteria. consume its resources. Pen bacteria ka jayega, penicillium ko. Penicillin destroys many types of bacteria by disrupting synthesis of their cell walls. These walls get their strength from a thick protective mesh of sugars and amino acids that are constantly being broken down and re- Peptidoglycan, very, 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 very important. All of your ever, I think, peptidoglycan, go bacteria cell wall mein hoti. Abhi aage ki, mein aur bhi videos dekhaan ga tun ko. So, usme tun dekho ki how uh, the peptidoglycan actually uh, stopping the, uh, uh, the bacteria, actually helping the bacteria from outer uh, the pressure and from other, uh, that is, uh, drugs and et cetera, et cetera. So, this is the available in the uh, bacterial cell wall rebuilt. Penicillin binds to one of the compounds that weaves this mesh together and prevents the wall from being reconstructed at a critical phase. You can see. Meanwhile, penicillin stimulates the release of highly reactive molecules that cause additional damage. Eventually, the cell's structure breaks down completely. This two-pronged attack is lethal to a wide range of bacteria, whether in petri dishes, our bodies, or elsewhere. It's not, however, harmful to our own cells because those don't have cell walls. Uh, another thing, uh, you might be very much wondering that penicillium, um, penicillin, jo hai, uh, it is only uh, killing the bacteria, bacteria cell, but it is not harmful for us. You know why? Because our cell, hai, in our cell, we have cell membrane. In bacteria, it has cell membrane and it has, it has cell wall. So penicillin, it is actually breaking the cell wall. Okay, that's why this is not harmful for us, but it is harmful for the bacteria. That's the very, very, very interesting thing. For a decade or so after Fleming's discovery, penicillin remained a laboratory curiosity. But during World War II... See, that time, no, he actually discovered in 1928. He discovered that thing on 19, uh, 20, 1928. He discovered that uh, uh, penicillin. So after uh, almost 10 of years, the Second World War actually broken. I hope you know that Hitler, Mussolini and Stalin, they are actually fighting. So during that time, a uh, lots of uh, warriors, they actually um, uh, that is, uh, suffered by a lots of microbial diseases, like bacterial diseases. So they need some drug which may cure them. So that time, uh, penicillin actually helped. Researchers about. figured out how to isolate the active compound over. and grow the mold in larger quantities. They then went on to win the Nobel Prize for their work. Teams at Oxford and several American drug companies continued development, and within a few years, it was commercially available. Penicillin and similar compounds quickly transformed the treatment of infections. For the time being, they remain some of the most important life-saving antibiotics used in medicine. However, the more we use any antibiotic, the more bacteria evolve resistance to it. Now you may listen to the word very carefully. The more and more you may use the uh, any kind of antibiotic, the bacteria will res start resisting that that uh, against that thing. Koi bhi antibiotic tum jitna zada loge na, utna hi tumhare body mein jo hai, us particular uh, bacteria jo hai, it will be it will start resisting. Bacteria mein kuch mutation honge and that bacteria will start resisting uh, with that particular uh, drug. So nowadays, very interesting thing actually nowadays very popular. Uh, this is called MDR. This is called uh, MDR. Do you, have, do you know what is the full form of MDR? Multiple drug? Multi-drug resistance. resistance. Ah, very good, very good. So a uh, drug resistance. So ultimately, if you use more and more antibiotic, so uh, that antibiotic will be not work in your body uh, in future. Because the bacteria are present in your gut and your other uh, areas, they will start um, that is a, uh, they will start resisting by mutation. In the case of penicillin, some bacteria produce compounds that can break down the key structure that interferes with cell wall synthesis. As a now, uh, here our this thing actually coming, this penicillin is actually coming. 
bacteria actually producing various of the uh, such enzymes beta lactamase one of the type of enzyme and one of the thing is actually penicillinase this penicillinase is actually uh, breaking the penicillin this penicillin is actually breaking this particular uh, drug due to that it is actually not effective and we are actually observing mdr okay so the best answer is antibiotic ko kam use karo koi bhi ghar mein chote mote bimari ho jate hai hai na kisi ko zukam sardi khansi ho jate hai log pehle jo log jo hai antibiotic lena shuru kar dete wrong this is completely wrong don't take antibiotic a lot antibiotic use has increased more and more bacteria have evolved this defense making these antibiotics ineffective against a growing number of bacterial infections this means it's essential that doctors not overprescribe the drug meanwhile 5 to 15% of patients in developed countries self identify as allergic to penicillin making it the most commonly reported drug allergy however the vast majority over 90% of people who think they're allergic to penicillin actually are not why the misperception many patients acquire the allergy label as children when a rash appears after they're treated for an infection with penicillin or closely related drugs the rash is often blamed on penicillin while the more likely culprit is the original infection or a reaction between the infection and the antibiotic however genuine penicillin allergies where our immune systems mistake penicillin for an attacker do occur rarely and can be very dangerous so if you think you're allergic but don't know for sure your best bet is to visit an allergist they'll complete an evaluation that'll confirm whether or not you have the allergy even if you do have a penicillin allergy your immune cells that react to the drug may lose their ability to recognize it in fact about 80% of people who are allergic to penicillin outgrow their allergy within 10 years this is great news for people who currently identify as allergic to penicillin the drug may one day save their lives as it has done for so many others how does medicine know where it needs to go so that's the story of your penicillin so have you seen that <laughs> alexander fleming he went in vacation <laughs> This lab so, belongs to Alexander Fleming, Fleming a Scottish scientist investigating the properties of infectious bacteria. At this time, Fleming is away on vacation. So that's the thing about the uh, penicillin. And the thing that I am trying to tell you that the penicillin will not work when bacteria bacteria is actually producing penicillinase enzyme. Okay. Yeah. so my next lecture or my next discussion will be completely focused on a uh, particular uh, that thing but before that i will tell you how uh, in industry uh, penicillin is actually being produced and how uh, the penicillin is actually working theek okay, hai i will tell you in more detail abhi to tumne dekha ki in this video we have learned that how penicillin actually he discovered by uh, this great gentleman called alexander fleming and you have seen the basic understanding in my next lecture that i am going to take uh, some time uh, i will tell you uh, during world war 2 how it is actually being produced because in unit 5 we again you have to learn the same thing theek hai main dobara jo hai wahan pe padhaunga par already jab yahan pe already discussion hum log kar chuke honge tab tumhe bahut hi aasan lagega tab tum kahoge ki sir you know about this thing you may go to the next topic so uh, i also told you i will show i'm going to tell you that uh, how penicillin is actually working and then i will tell you the various uh, antibiotic and i will tell you about the resistance you can see here is you can see here is our drug and here is a microbes so ye jo hai bhag raha hai because this is actually penicillinase this is the penicillinase and this is our drug <laughs> so i will tell this thing in my next lecture so today uh, dr S uh, uh, sumaya tripathi ma'am uh, she is on leave so i got the chance to teach you uh, her uh, lecture also